I heard a scrambling noise. <laughs> Scrambled <laughs> eggs? My favorite. Yeah. Except I sharply looked back and found the head was facing towards me. <laughs> I felt lightheaded. Ah, uh, wordplay. I almost fainted and lied on it. <laughs> I almost lied on it. <laughs> like, thanks. Uh, no, but no at words. That point, I heard a whisper. Hello. Something so unrepeatable, obviously foreign. I couldn't understand it. Ta <laughs> Taco. Later, <laughs> second later, it said something. This time I understood it. Sounded like Salva Tamet. Save me. I thought you couldn't repeat it. Oh, uh, whatever. What Does is this it? guy what know that the things that he's typing out can uh, be construed as demonio? words and that those words have meaning? <laughs> I just. Demonio. We got a lot of these. I'm running out of things to say because I'm just gonna start saying the same things over and over because this is just. Bad. Yeah. Why is it reminding us of the horror of Monty? <laughs> that story was sort of memorable. For some reason. Uh, okay. I ran for the door as fast as I could, disregarding whoever was out there and whatever their threat was. Their threat. I was hit with a brick wall. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You were hit with brick wall. I was hit with brick wall. <laughs> House, use brick wall. Both <laughs> mentally and physically. Both mentally and physically. It explains the story. <laughs> I just run into a wall a bunch of times, and this will probably make so much more sense. The door was gone. It was just gone. It went to the other side of the hallway. <laughs> oh, sorry. I went to the other side of the hallway. The door went to the other side of the hallway. <laughs> there was an arrow graffitied. <laughs> exit. No, let me try that whole sentence again. There was an arrow graffitied on the wall. Exit. It said with a large wooden door with the same sign. You on. said there was no door. And I would sleep when I saw my Mario toy. <laughs> it reminded me that I had a GameCube in the attic. I cried in relief. I opened it. More house. <laughs> <laughs> you open a door in a house, and there's house beside it. I thought it would just transport you no. to Dimension X. I like the fact that he says there's no door and then there's a door. <laughs> yeah. The door sounded like it had no reason. Mm. I ran upstairs to the master bedroom. Master bedroom. <laughs> just like it did from the windows. Really? Except for one feature. The windows were bared up. With <laughs> so they were naked. <laughs> but they were up as well. Oh, I sat on the bed. Oh god. <laughs> what is this? That's not Can a question, you... that's a statement. Again, this guy hates question marks. What is this? I looked down at my feet. I saw a black spin line. <laughs> what? It, it looks like... like... I just sat down and suddenly noticed, oh yeah, there was a giant sack in my feet. Hmm? It oh. looked like something was trapped in it. This time, I wasn't falling for anything. I grabbed my Stanley knife, ripped the bat, bat open, closed my eyes, and started stabbing. I then fell. Okay. Okay, if I would have learned a lesson from it, it's just to not go anywhere near those bags, but whatever. Well, I opened them. My heart went into my throat oh. and almost jumped out of my mouth. I died. I went and vomited. It was... It was a cat. I stabbed <laughs> a cat to death. What kind of flipping game is that? <laughs> Dude, you're the one who made the conscious decision to stab a bag. You see, the only time he uses um question marks is right when they're followed by an exclamation mark. Okay, I shouted, expecting to get a response. <laughs> <laughs> is the other wolf just gonna answer him? Oh boy, this next sentence. I curled up on the bed. I began to weep. Oh, it one felt of us. I could sleep for a century. <laughs> I just slept and slept. So I did. Drove home. I funny. saw a mirror on the wall. It's reflection different from mine. It is reflection different but from mine. Me stood up. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Deep black indented eyes and a mouth so wide it took up half the mirror. <laughs> Razor sharp white teeth, and then murderer written on the mirror in blood <laughs> starts to appear on the mirror. <laughs> Did Jane the killer write this? On the, I'm gonna hit you with the start of the mirror. You tumble and rip from the mirror. You mirror, mirror, mirror. Yeah, cause she's not someone, stupid, not. <laughs> as if someone on the other side was writing it. But then, as I was looking around the room, Period. full stop. I noticed a lump in the wall. Can someone pick up? 
I dared <sighs> not to even go near it. Or do you want to? I, I can take okay, over now. Bye. I dared not to even go near it. I just stared. I noticed a distinct look about it. It was a distinct lump. <laughs> Indeed, it was. It had face. It had facial features, and a barely recognizable body. It had facial hair. Oh my god. It. This is scary. It looked like it was mouthing something. I walked up to it. Slowly. It is mouth was moving. It was saying something. I walked closer, eager to know. Incorrect use of eager. That means you are positively excited to know, yet dreading what it might say. So we both positively be dreading at the same time. Save yourself, not save me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> English. I speak English good. I jump back, realizing what the person meant. It then extended itself. <laughs> As if it were trying to escape a jelly-like cocoon. It kept stretching. Don't like cocoon. There should have been a height in there. Is he saying that jellies like cocoon? Oh, yeah, true. Maybe they do. It kept stretching. It let out a blood-curdling scream. I ran for the bedroom door. I saw these people trapped in the walls. <laughs> you saw oh! through the walls. There's been a cat trapped in the wall since we moved in. <laughs> 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 okay, I saw these people trapped in the walls. Just screaming. Piercing my ears like no other sound has done before. I ran downstairs. The woman still <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Oh, you mean that bag part? Wait. What, is, this, is, this, is this objectifying women? <laughs> so you stabbed... You stabbed a cat in the bag. But it was a woman? Whatever. What? Did you just step into, like, the super inverse probability thing from Hitchhikers? That thing turned into this thing. That thing suddenly exploded. That thing wrote men in the walls. Ha! <laughs> to the point. Okay, this time her eye had popped out. Her guts were on the floor, and her long, scraggly black hair could be seen. No, her it's not scraggly, it's scraggy. Oh, scraggy. Shaggy. Isn't that a Pokemon? I think it is. Uh, per protruding out of the bag. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped to look at it. She was crying as if she'd endured hours of, hours of this, which she didn't because if she endured hours of this, she would be dead or also, passed out. Last time you loss. saw the woman, she as was dead. She is endured hours of this. <clears throat> oh, yeah, she is endured hours of this. <laughs> she really? Um. It's our room. We're what looked like no threats inside. <laughs> I locked the door behind me. There was a spider in it. There you go. All was silent. I mean, literally silent. I couldn't even hear myself breath. <laughs> Deep breath. Then. Silent implies no sound at all. Then. Scratching. It grew louder and louder. It was coming from the door. Demonic, low-pitched cries came with it. Then the crying of a cat. And I sure knew which cat it was coming from. <laughs> what? How much of this do we have left? A lot. Uh, not not too much. Okay. Oh really? I I don't know. No. I saw hands making their way through underneath the door, <laughs> breaking my solitude like room which was once peaceful. <laughs> More hands descending from the ceilings, trying to grasp me. Multiple ceilings. Tentacles grasped the door and shook it. The hand. Squidward. Tentacle. This is reminding Yeah, and then we got again with the scratching getting louder and louder. This is reminding me of This is reminding me of that one YouTube video I saw where that where that person like won that contest by doing that like horror like that one one minute horror film with the hands coming down from the ceiling. Yeah, that was scarier than this, and that was fake as crud. Yeah, serious. Uh they were blinking. Or yeah. Then eyes. I saw eyes. They were that was blinking. In that video too. Yeah. On the wall, some of them with tears. Some of them deep black, staring. I closed my eyes, and when I opened them, silence. The things from Doctor Who. And when I opened them, full stop, silent, silence. Opening your eyes caused full them to stop. Be silent. Literally, again, no fading. What? It just happened instantly. But I noticed something. <clears throat> A smell more rancid than before. Dot dot dot. 
It was, it was like so blood. Danky. It was blood. Yeah, a smell more danky than before. <laughs> <laughs> Boiling blood. I vomited. It was so strong. How did this guy have any vomit left in him? Yeah, I was about to... <laughs> I don't know. He was crying like five minutes ago. I then saw what looked like a window. Escape at last? I ran up to it. Only to see my reflection looking at me. I put my hand to it, but my reflection did not move. Not again, I said. But this time... Yeah. <laughs> but then... <laughs> but this time it looked at me. Dot, dot, dot. It spoke. Hello, James! <laughs> it said. Um, I... <laughs> I stuttered. I know you're scared. I know you want answers, and I know you want out. What is this place? I asked, hoping I'd get an answer. It's a boundary. Oh. <laughs> My reflection said, a boundary to another world. Once you're in our worlds for one, until something happened, evil being- Everything be was at peace until one day, the Fire Nation at Yeah. Mm. Evil. Evil begun to evil grow, and it was split in two. Evil began to grow. Yeah. Most of the spirits who weren't evil crossed over to your world, but some remain identical copies to you, living in mirrors, in houses, in walls. I explained to the woman quite well. Your reflection may be a copy of you, but it's stopping you from entering the other world. A mirror is merely a portal. <laughs> is mere catly a portal? Oh my gosh, did this thing just break me? Um... A mirror is merely a portal. <laughs> uh, Guarded by us. This house has a jewel. rip in it. A rip which means the demon can do more than wander their earth. But getting to this house is very rude. On Supernatural. How do I not? I was cut off. I'm not an illusion, said my Doppler gonger because there is <laughs> to, um, a German. That's actually spelled right. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, is, that's, is every, that's uh, actually a word. Is it, and I should see the end. Right. Is everything else? Is every other version of doppelganger spelled wrong? Then we can see the end um, if we scroll down a bit, or not necessarily. I don't. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Just read. It's not. I'm not an illusion. Put your hands toward me. Okay. I shifted my hand <clears throat> and put it on the mirror. I felt this cold liquid absorb my hand and then swarm back into place and ripple. I was dot 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 inside a mirror. <laughs> It's me, Mario. Super Mario 64. Mario. <laughs> that, that's because that's literally like the Super Mario 64 thing when you jump yeah. into the painting. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Let's Thanks. not talk about that pasta. <laughs> no. Oh no. What I saw in there was sheer hell. No words could describe what I saw or felt. I ripped my head back out. It was the awful world of men in the walls. Anything could happen, nothing made sense. What the? Yeah, what the? I said, <laughs> Question mark! What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> it's not nice, is it? I protect okay, you from okay, entering this house. Did a question mark run over this guy's family with a car? <laughs> Don't use him anymore. <laughs> I like. Question marks are dead to me. <laughs> Unless they're followed by an exclamation point. <laughs> How do I get out of here? <gasps> it's a question mark! I pleaded. Yay. My doppelganger went silent. <laughs> he went silent. My doppelganger is very cool when he's silent. And looked to the side. It had a look of sheer dread on it is face. I can say no more. I can't. I can't say no more. I can't say no more. I've broken the well, rules. it does make sense that this guy's a grammatically incorrect idiot since he is a copy of the yeah. narrator. <laughs> yeah. A tall demon-like creature with eight arms. Grab my doppelganger. I what, felt is it. What, Slenderman fanfic all of a sudden? <laughs> it had no eyes or nose, just a mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> it dragged my doppelganger away. I heard a scream from the distance. Destroy it! My teen said. My, my teen. My twin said. My teen said. Destroy what I thought. I have no clue Destroy what to do. What I, I have Question no clue what to do. That. Mark. I have no clue what to do. No. I sat down and pondered. Destroy yeah, it. Funny. I repeated. The end. There's no ending. Oh, actually, 
actually, this guy, there, look at the comments. The guy who apparently uploaded it said part two coming soon. And this was in 2013. And I don't think there's a second part yet. Well, I'm going to look. But It's a good start. You, sh you should get rid of all the extra dot, 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 dot. And leave those for parts with spoken words and parts that really need it. They're a tad distracting. Okay, seriously, if that's the only, only problem with the entire thing that you feel is big enough to to actually bring up, oh, yeah. you're weird and stupid. And then Proxy Ornit says, Wait, part two coming soon. Yes, because the world is just Give full of people demanding for Man in the you Wall part two right. electric boogaloo. Let's see, what else does this person like? I don't know. Oh, okay. Am I the only one who feels like nothing really happened? Pages on I mean, things occurred because the author thought it might be scary, but was there really a narrative? Did anything really get accomplished? No. No. There wasn't even an ending. No. What else does this guy wrote? Do you yeah. really want to know? Uh, yeah. He's written... Okay. I do. Oh, Let's this see. is complicated. Let's see. He wrote Birthday Boy? Men in the Walls. And he hasn't been on the Creepypasta wiki since December 12th. He wrote Birthday Boy. No, I don't think he Birth wrote that. Oh, yes, he did. Yep. He created the page. Let's see. I'm not reading that right now. I, I know. I've had enough of these pastas. I just this is... take a good look. <laughs> we might do it on another episode. But anyway, so let's pass around some final thoughts. Um, since... That story was absolutely bamboozling. Indeed, boy. <laughs> It sure was. Princess Diana. Oh, man. Sorry, it's going to be. So, I, usually with a story of this caliber, I'd have a lot to say, but I really don't because nothing happened in this story. I mean, it was it was really funny. There was a lot of things to make fun of during this <laughs> yeah. story. But after, you're just... You're this just... is probably the most forgettable story we've read. Yeah. And the I mean, way you even read the it, dark was more rememberable. Even the horror of Monty Brook. The way that you read it, it kind of reads like something like um, Call of Duty Black Hell Ops or, uh, yeah. um, so, or like ones that like they don't read like it was just Google translated. They read like this guy's just really stupid. Yeah, except this one didn't have Bootman Bill, so, you know, it's at a disadvantage. And the world is worse off for it. <laughs> Quite so. Um, is that it? No? I think so. It's in the room. <laughs> Well, if Eric, well, you said that Eric was coming over to record something, right? Uh, no, he's just gonna probably just come over and we're gonna chill. So. Well, if you want to record another pasta thing with him, you can call me if you want. Okay, I don't think we are gonna record, but I will keep. I will let you know. Um, keep the options. Okay. So. Also, um, can you send the file of this conversation to me? Yes, I gotta. Hold on, I gotta cut this part out. I gotta do the the outro thing where I'm like, thank you. So hold on. Um. Okay. Well. So this has been another episode of Awful Creepypasta. Thanks to our guest for uh, the host of the show with no name for being on here. And we will see you next time with some more Awful Creepypastas. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Is there one you like? If you have a story that you'd like to request for us to read, go ahead. Nothing's stopping you. We'll get to it eventually. And if you'd like to be a future guest on the show, then leave it in the comments and we'll get in contact with you. Anyway, goodbye.